um, let me see here. Someone says, did Muhammad say Allah will marry him to uh, to to marry? Yes, there's um, a tradition. I believe, uh, that's yes. true. Yes, the there's tradition. a tradition. Yeah. And si according to a tradition reported by Ibn Kathir, deemed to be da'if, da'if, meaning weak, da'if, brother. Ibn Kathir in his Pesas, Pesas, the stories of the prophets, al -Anbiya, right, al -Anbiya, he mentions, there's a tradition that goes with chapter 66 of the Quran, verse 12. It says, the reason why Allah mentions Mary in Surah Al-Tahrim, uh, ta that's right, because I get it confused with Surah Al-Talaq, the divorce. Guys, you need to listen to this. It's in one of my articles. In Surah Al-Tahrim, chapter 66, there Allah is rebuking the wives of Muhammad for their rebellion, so-called. And he says that Allah can replace you with better wives. Allah can replace you with better wives for Muhammad. And so the Quran mentions two pious women, the wife of Pharaoh, Fir'aun, which the Hadith name as Asiya, and Maryam bint Imran, the mother of the Lord Jesus, as examples of pious women. Pious women in contrast to the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot, who are ungodly, wicked women that Allah condemned. Now, the Muslim commentators say the reason why, the reason why Allah mentioned Asiya, the wife of Pharaoh, who is an unbeliever who is burning in hell, and Miriam, bint Imran, Mary, the daughter of Imran, who is supposedly the mother of the Lord Jesus, is because Allah in paradise will make Mary and Asiya the wives of Muhammad. That's what Ibn Kithir mentions in Qisas al Pesas al Anbiya that goes with chapter 66, verse 12. Now, Muslims will tell you that's daif, that's weak, but you ask the Muslims, why did your God mention Mary, the daughter of Imran, and the wife of Fir'aun, Pharaoh, as example of godly wives in the chapter where Allah is threatening the wives of Muhammad? If you don't straighten up, he'll replace you with better wives. And then he gives these two as an example if you're filthy wick, Immoral slime, son of the devil, Muhammad, wasn't trying to imply that these two godly women will be wedded to me in paradise. Not to mention how disgusting his God was in describing how Mary was impregnated in chapter right. 66. Verse 12, that so. yep. Who guarded her anyway. private part, her vulva. Blasphemous, yep. wicked. Because Allah of the Quran is Satan and Muhammad is the son of the devil. Glory to Jesus Christ. He's burning in hell.